Hi guys, as support for a united Ireland is growing by the day, unionism needs to present an alternative if it is to stop that trend. But what could it be? Well, Ben Lowry, who is the editor of the Northern Ireland-based newsletter, which could be mistaken for a DUP pamphlet, complained here about how unionists are being asked to get involved in the debate of a united Ireland. Ben instead would like nationalists to get involved in a different one, one on the union. But what type of union would that be? Well, the type that would blow your minds. Have a listen to this. I take the position that Professor O'Leary was expressing, which is that unionists really shouldn't get involved in this debate. And it, isn't it interesting that unionists don't ask Irish nationalists, you could say there's a level of respect here, where unionists don't ask Irish nationalists to get involved in building a post-Brexit wonderful new UK. We <laughs> what? A post-Brexit wonderful new UK. A post-Brexit wonderful new UK. <sighs> Look, Ben, I was going to say maybe Ben doesn't know, but Ben is the editor of a newspaper. So Ben obviously knows that a majority of people in Northern Ireland voted against Brexit. And if you look at the, U at the UK as a whole, support for Brexit is collapsing. You even had Nigel Farage say that Brexit has failed. In Northern Ireland, their support for Brexit has completely collapsed even on the unionist side. So what post-Brexit wonderful new UK is he talking about here? He wants to, he wants to convince, or he, he believes that nationalists who voted against Brexit should abandon a united Ireland and get behind a post-Brexit wonderful new UK. I wonder what he's smoking. We know that that's not what Irish nationalists want to do. And I, I, I think that unionists shouldn't feel demoralised and shouldn't get involved in these discussions and should confidently make their case about what a wonderful place the UK is to live and how the polling for staying in the UK is still very strong. So the, so the, the argument for staying in the union is, well, polling is strong. Okay, and it's wonderful. Is this guy a secret shinner, <laughs> secret Sinn Féin member? You know, he wants to, he wants, in, in, I can't come out and say that I want a united Ireland, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and convince people who voted against Brexit and people even who did vote for Brexit and now realise that Brexit is a disaster. I'm going to convince them that, no, 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 the, the, the union, the place to be is in the union post-Brexit. Is this guy really a, a Sinn Féin mole? <laughs> you Sinn Féin have moles within even the, the pro-DUP uh, newsletter. Absolutely ridiculous. And what arguments has he made here? It's wonderful. Uh, wonderful post-Brexit as well. And polling supports us staying in the union. Honestly, th these are arguments for staying in the union. Like, there are actual reasonable arguments he could make, those being the Northern Arm Protocol, saying, look, the, the Northern Arm Protocol is a wonderful reason to stay in the Union. It, it gives uh, Northern Ireland a unique position, a unique opportunity when it comes to trade between the EU and trade with Great Britain. No other part of the world has that. But he can't say that because the DUP can't admit that the protocol has been a success or that the protocol is actually helping Northern Ireland. So if the, the DUP aren't saying it, of course the newsletter aren't saying it either. It's, once again, I, I said this before, why are, why are the DUP and the newsletter not promoting the Northern Ireland Protocol? Because it involves Europe. Their hatred of Europe is stronger than any love for the Union. You know, once again, it gives Northern Ireland a unique opportunity. It's attracting investment. Northern Ireland and London are leading in as parts of the UK that are growing the fastest. P other parts of the United Kingdom would love to have something like the Northern Ireland Protocol. Scotland would love to have it, but it can't. Parts of, of England would like to have it, but it can't, but they can't. So the, so the response to all of this is, well, you know, 
there's a risk that there's going to be a united Ireland. It's looking more and more likely. So what is our alternative? Well, uh, the status quo and polling. And yeah, you have to embrace this thing that uh, you voted against. Insane. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.